Hi, kids. Today, we will learn about one of our sense organs, that is, our eyes. So let's start. Eyes. Eyes, a very important sense organ that gives us vision. We can see in bright as well as dim light. But we cannot see when there is no light at all. We use our eyes in almost everything we do, from reading, writing, eating, drinking, dancing, watching, playing, and many more. Now let's learn internal as well as external parts of the human eye. The human eye is a delicate organ that is protected by the hard, bony socket in the skull. It is a ball-shaped organ, but we see only a small part of it, and that we call as our eye. But actually, it is a ball shape. Now let's first see the visible part of our eyes. Eyebrows. This is not a part of eye, but it keeps the moisture, sweat, rain, from running down a person's forehead straight into the eye. Eyelids. These are our eyelids. It is a thin fold of skin on the eyes that helps to open and shut the eyes and also protects the eyes from the dust and other particles. It also spreads tears and other secretions in the eye to keep the eyes moist. The reflex action of blinking protects the eyes from anything that suddenly comes closer to the eyes. Eyelashes. These are our eyelashes. These are hairs that grow on the edges of the eyelids. Eyelashes, too, protect the eyes from any dust or foreign particles. Iris. Iris is a round colored part of the eye. Pupil. An even smaller, round portion inside the iris is called pupil. This white part that we see is called sclera. So these are the external parts that we see. Now let's learn the internal structure of the eye. Our eye is a spherical structure. It has a bulging part in the center of its front side, and it's called cornea. Cornea is thin, shiny, transparent convex cover over the round color part of the eye. I repeat, cornea is a thin, shiny, transparent convex cover over the round color part of the eye. Light enters the eye through this cornea. Iris. Iris is the round colored membrane just behind the cornea. It's the iris that imparts color to the eye. It can be gray, it can be brown, it can be black, it can be blue, which has a small circular opening in the middle and it's called pupil. Pupil, it is a dark center in the middle of the iris. Pupil is a small circular opening in the center of the iris. It's the pupil that regulates the amount of light entering the eye. It changes its size to regulate the amount of light entering the eye. When there is bright source of light, iris makes a pupil contract so that less amount of light enters the eye. And when the source of the light is very dim, iris makes the pupil expand or dilate so that more amount of light enters the eye. 
Now, which part of the eye is called eye lens? The lens is convex in shape and is made up of transparent jelly-like material that focuses light into the retina. In a healthy eye, the lens changes its shape to adjust for close or distant vision. But as we age, the lens tends to get hardened and its adjusting power is limited. Ring-shaped ciliary muscle surrounds this lens and the ciliary muscle contract or relax to adjust the shape of the lens according to the visual need. Wall of the eye, excluding the area of cornea, is made up of three different layers. The outermost layer is called sclera. It is tough, protective sheet, white in color, and is known as white of the eye. Middle layer is called choroid. It is a vascular layer. The innermost and third layer is called retina. It is on this layer on which the image is formed. It is light sensitive and like the screen of a camera. Retina is made up of two types of receptor cells rod cells and cone cells. Rod cells are sensitive to dim light. That is, they work in dim light and they don't provide us colored vision. So in case of dim light, we are not able to see anything in color. We see everything gray or black and white when it's dim light. Next are the cone cells. Cone cells are sensitive to bright light and they provide us colored vision. So we see everything colorful in bright light. So remember, in dim light, rod cells work. And when it's bright light, cone cells work. Cone cells provide us colored vision. Vitreous. Vitreous is the clear jelly-like material that fills the hollow center of the eye, that is, between the lens and the retina. Aqueous. Aqueous is also a liquid that fills between the cornea and the lens. Now next part that we will learn is optic nerve. Optic nerve is a nerve that transmit the image from the eye to the brain. And it's the brain that will interpret the message and we will be able to see any object. So kids, today we have learned the internal as well as external parts of the eye. We will learn about the working of the eye in our next assignment. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.